Hello students, a uh, very warm welcome to the session. In today's class, we are going to start with the very first chapter of your NCR textbook, the Beehive book, that is called The Fun They Had. Okay, we'll quickly talk about who is this they refer to and what fun are we talking about. But before that, let me quickly introduce myself to you and also talk, uh, tell you about the Unacademy Plus subscription in which if you uh, use my code, that is Rumana10, R-U-M-A-N-A 10, you get a flat 10% off there. So don't forget my name. Let me quickly talk a bit more about my name and myself. My name is Rumana and I have completed my master's in English literature. And uh, it's been seven years. I have uh, been tutoring uh, for seven years now. And I think I absolutely love teaching students and learning in the process. Okay. So let's get started with the chapter, the very first chapter, the fun they had. And in order to understand any chapter, we must understand the writer who has written it. So let us let me quickly introduce you to Isaac Asimo. And who is Isaac Asimo? Isaac Asimo is a science fiction writer as you all can see he's an american writer and professor of biochemistry he's considered one of the greatest science fiction writers during his lifetime absolutely he's one of the greatest writer absolutely he has written several other books on science time machine and several other things about science and future okay and one of his most prominent book is foundation trilogy and uh, this, uh, this story this the fun they had this first appeared in a magazine in the year 1951 and what is this story about it this doesn't look like a science fiction uh, as per the name suggests but if you get into it it talks about a future world which we'll quickly take a look at which world is it talking about and what are these two protagonists in the story doing what are they reading and how is that very much relatable to today's contemporary society okay we'll find that out but before starting and delving into the chapter first of all i'll tell you about three things that are very important and they can also be called the theme of this particular chapter they are the past, the present, and the future timeline. So this actually, this story, this entire story talks about three timeline, three time period, okay? One is the present tense in which the children are, the, the time where, uh, where these two children, Margie and Tommy, are. They talk about a past time, a time in the past, okay? And in the past where they are, they talk about a past time which is actually our present today and what we read in the story the story is our future okay so this uh, you know might have confused a bit so i'll i'll delve into the chapter and while doing the chapter we'll discover much more about that and we'll clarify all of that just remember that there are three timelines there is past present and future these children are in a time period which is future to us okay and we are their past so we are talking about us and we are looking at two protagonists two people two children who are living in an era in, in an age which is our future okay now virtual versus reality so these two students these two two children live in an age of virtual reality they live in a time where they are exposed to a lot of learning via computers laptops robots okay which is actually virtual but they have no understanding of real what is real for them nothing is real okay they don't know what reality is what do real teachers look like they don't have that idea we'll also get familiar rise with the uh, you know terminology like telebooks what are telebooks so telebooks can be referred to something like kindle of modern time that you see but kindle also have static letters but somewhat even more modified version of that wherein you have moving letters and alphabets and presentations that we see right um, we also get familiarized with robots okay robot teachers and the mechanical teacher okay there's one more very important character here that is county inspector we'll talk about county inspector as well okay so let's get started with the chapter everybody 
this chapter basically starts with Margie and Tommy, these two children, talking to each other on May 17, 2157. So what time is it? This is our future time, but it is a present time for them. So she wrote in her book, today Tommy found a real book, okay, so Tommy is uh, her friend who finds a real book. It was a very old book. Why? Why? How did she um, come to the conclusion that it was an old book? Because it, it's pa the pages were all crinky and uh, it was all old and yellow. So the page has gotten yellow and crinky. Okay. That's what made them think that this is an old book. Margie's great grandfather told her grandfather that there was a time when all stories were printed on paper so there was a time which time are they talking about they are talking about our present time okay now they turn the pages which were yellow and crinky as you all can see over here and it was awfully funny to read those words that stood still instead of moving the way they were supposed to on a screen you know so it was quite funny and hilarious for them because they have never seen a book that had static letters on it so all they were familiar with was, uh, you know, computer screens and letters moving and dangling. So that is what they know about studies and books. And this appears to them very weird. Okay. Now, Margie always hated school. What kind of school are they talking about? The school that Margie goes to, not the school that we used to go. Okay. Not the school where we have teachers live teachers and but this is the school where she has robots who are teaching them but now she hated it even more why because the mechanical teacher had been giving her test after test in geography so this teacher is kind of giving her many tests and she has been doing worse so she her performance is deteriorating day by day pay attention to that she is facing problem in learning geography from a mechanical teacher that's obvious because geography is a subject that needs a lot of explanation real life experiments or if you don't see uh, if you have never seen a mountain how do you understand a, a, you know what does the mountain look like and if you don't know what rivers are you will never understand so again this is very something that uh, you know requires a lot of real life learning but that was missing out there yes okay Tommy tells Margie that the book that he has found is not about their kind of school. It's a different kind of school. The students then had men as teachers. Wow, this is fascinating to them. It was difficult for Margie to believe that such type of a school existed. And Margie can't believe that she can be taught by a real human being. Okay, she can't believe that. Before they are even halfway through the book, Mrs. Jones calls her daughter inside for school so mrs jones is margie's mom okay remember that she's margie's mom and she calls her for school so the school is right there in her next to her bedroom the mechanical teacher is already waiting for her the mechanical teacher lights up and begins a lesson on fractions asking margie to first insert yesterday's homework into the slot so now this this teacher doesn't move forward if you don't feed her with the homework of the previous day so it's a mechanical teacher right it's not a human teacher so it wants you to fill insert the previous questions that you have solved and then only it will proceed that's how it works so if you can't request you can't ask the teacher to proceed even if you have not done the homework because that's the norm that's what you have to do margie starts imagining the old schools from the book she daydreams of all the kinds from entire neighborhood going to school together, walking together and playing and laughing doing together during recess. So now you can imagine students that, that what is very much normal to you, yeah, is something that she dreams of, right? She's dreaming of a school where she could go. She could talk to kids. She could go together with the entire uh, children of the neighborhood, yeah? and work together, play, and we also have a lunch break, the recess time, yeah? She's also hoping for that. So that looks, appears very fascinating to her, which is quite a normal thing for all of us, isn't it? She longs for the ancient schools where the teachers were real people and all students learn the same thing and help each other with their homework 
and the fun they had okay and this is where she's kind of continuously getting fascinated by you know uh, the understanding and by by the fact that how she's totally totally taken aback and she's absolutely wondering so that what kind of a school that would be where children go together and they were they are fascinated now here is where you have the title of the book okay so this was just a summary of it of the story but apart from this there are several other instances that are also important okay so for example if the if the question asks you that what how did margie's opinion differ from tommy so let me quickly tell you that tommy was a bit skeptical about the school of uh, you know uh, the old, the school that we have today okay so for them it was the school of their great grandfather and their grandfather right so for him it was quite uh, you know he was quite skeptical like i said he was very very uh, doubtful about what kind of a school it would be where you go and there is one teacher catering to the problems of all the students on the contrary mari is quite fascinated because she has got imagination and she wants to gel up with students she miss this is the company of students she needs she needs friends okay maybe that is one reason that she needs friends okay so she is absolutely missing this kind of school setup however on the contrary um uh, tommy is not any way curious about this kind of setup he's a pessimist about it probably saying that that's such a waste of uh, you know textbook that if you if you have accumulated a textbook for one year then what do you do with it we have to ultimately discard it however magi what does magi say magi says that uh, that's true but but um, you know you know that would be quite exciting to go to school and meet people uh, however for uh, tommy he thinks that he can store as many ebooks as possible okay tell you books that he calls them in in a laptop in a memory card yeah so they don't get wasted according to him so of course they have difference of opinion now one more episode that's important is about the county inspector which we'll talk one more time when margi is failing in her geography lessons what's happening then then at that point in time uh, the mother of uh, margi calls who she calls county inspector okay and what does this county inspector do why has he arrived so he has arrived to treat or you know to investigate what has happened to the mechanical teacher and what what did he find out he found that it was not margie's error that she was performing uh, you know ridiculously horrible in the subject but it was the problem of the mechanical teacher it was working very fast and now he has set the mechanical teacher to margie's age right so it was not margie's mistake margie's quite an intelligent child and then he offered her an apple as well okay and we'll talk about how he looked like but first of all we we we'll take a look at the character of margie who is an 11 year old girl living in the future time that is 2157 she is home schooled by a mechanical computer teacher margie likes to write in the diary in which she writes about the finding of a real book this event had a strong impact on her from her conversation with tommy about the books and schools in the past margie comes along across as innocent having a little idea about the way school used to be in the past margie's grandfather had told her about how his great grandfather used to go to a proper school outside his home and used to read books made up of paper all right so this is what it is all about that she is quite fascinated and intrigued by the real books so to say but she's uh, uh you know uh, she has to study from a mechanical computer teacher now let's come to learn something about tommy tommy is margie's friend and he's 13 years old and he's elder to her he comes across smarter than margie because he has read more telly books and he has more knowledge about how the school was centuries ago okay now who does this person look like he looks like the county inspector who has who was a round little man with a red face 
and he was ca uh, called to repair the mechanical teacher who were not working was not working these teachers were not working well he picks them by meeting their requirements he carried a box of tool with dials and wire to repair the errant mechanical teacher okay so this county inspector used to visit uh, different places and ultimately rectify the error or fix the error or repair the error in the mechanical teacher okay and he was quite an intelligent man it seems although he looks very cute and funny uh, but then he uh, you know he kind of uh, um, tells of something very intelligent that Marnie is a smart child and it's not her fault yeah, she's performing really well but the mechanical teacher has some problem in it okay that brings us to almost the end of this uh, chapter now because we have talked about the chapter we have taken a look at its uh, um, you know um, the basic summary of the chapter which talks majorly so what are the important things to recapitulate it one more time let me quickly tell you that the chapter talks about the education system if i have to tell you it talks about the education system and how excessive exposure to the virtual world or the virtual um, you know where there's a lack of or where there's absence of a real teacher what would happen then that would actually erode or they would that will actually deteriorate the condition and learning of the students so this this doesn't support the virtual learning at all <laughs> okay uh, so basically it's a kind of a commentary a commentary on this education system all right and of course, uh, Isaac Asimo was a futurist. He could see the future and probably what he talks about is what we are witnessing in modern time when we have less, uh, you know, physical contact and more of virtual exposure, which is somehow affecting our mental health as well. Yeah, we can feel that. But then, of course, uh, this is the requirement of the time. But again, you have to understand that how uh, accurate was Isaac Asimo in his perception, in his belief and the way he wrote about a future time. Okay. Uh, now, uh, uh, apart from that, again, it also talks about the curiosity of a child's mind. It also talks about uh, uh, the fun and adventure these child uh, engage themselves into. So they go to attic and find a book and they're curious. So what is attic? It will like tell you about attic. What is attic? Attic is usually a storeroom type of a room. Okay. Um, which is usually at the, you know, it is, it, there is no other floor after it. So it's the last room, uh, floor wise and which is all usually used for keeping uh, guests or something that stores uh, extra stuff of the house. Okay. So I hope I made you understand the chapter well and I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you so much. But before that, uh, wrapping the session and ending the session i have to tell you something about an academy subscription and what are its features so an academy plus subscript subscription gives you features of learn life in the comfort of your house it gives you unlimited access to all the courses it gives provides you top educators and you can um, choose the educator you want to study with and regular doubt clearing and answer writing sessions exhaustive coverage of the syllabus mentorship and guidance and also you also get the study material and pdf of the sessions you get to practice tests and you give live test series and you will also be divided into batches all right so these are some key features of an academy plus subscription really where you have daily practice section and you have weekly mock test series as well okay now an academy subscription pricing this is the pricing that you can have a look it is uh, for three months, the pricing is this, and then this get reduced to three uh, six seven five zero. And all the code that you have to use is not this one, but you have to use the code Romana ten. Okay, that code I showed you in the beginning of the session. That is Romana ten. That's my name. And if you add ten over here, you get a ten percent flat off. Okay. And coming to the iconic subscription, this is again a very special kind of subscription wherein you get special features of personal mentorship live doubt solving and you get weekly report card you get parent connect study planner and everything under one roof okay so here are special features are there of live doubt solutions and weekly report and personal mentorship all right again you can have a look at the pricing that three months six months and it's always suggested to take the 12 month plan minimum 
okay so that you connect with us for a longer period of time and understand the course in great detail now talking about the code that you have to use is romana 10 all right don't forget this and of course this brings us to the end of the session and i request you all to like the session like this video okay if you liked it if you understood what this chapter is all about and you must share the session with all your friends who think can be benefited and you must subscribe to the channel if you haven't already okay you can post your doubts if you have any i'll come up with one more session on question answer and uh, we'll take a look at some more key ideas and themes in the next session i hope you have understood the chapter the summary of it the overall idea of it and the title of it which is very important so take care everybody goodbye don't forget to like share and subscribe